was hurt, but officials believe that that fire may have been started by squatters living inside. News 12 has also learned the home is partially owned by the president of the East Ramapo School District. News 12's Sarah Toland has more tonight from Spring Valley. Firefighters working anxiously to put out a smoky blaze from above as authorities below swept the inside of this home in Spring Valley, looking for victims after an abandoned home suddenly went up in flames Friday. Now officials say this house at 26 Lawrence Street is a crime scene as investigators try to figure out how a fire broke out in here in the first place and aborted a building without gas or electricity. Somebody inside the house would have had to lift this up. Spring Valley's Deputy Fire Chief Ken Solman says officials first on the scene found two homeless people outside the building. There's a reports of possibly some homeless people that have been using the place as a uh, shelter that might be trapped inside. Uh, we've done a primary search. Uh, we did not find anybody as of yet. Firefighters say the blaze was so big and smoky, it's lucky anyone walked out of here alive if they had been inside. Now, while authorities investigate the cause of the fire, News 12 has learned the building is partially owned by the president of East Ramapo School Board, Yehuda Westmandel. In August, Westmandel was the target of allegations he owned illegally subdivided apartments, also in Spring Valley. Here, authorities say it was his responsibility to keep squatters out. Uh, he should make sure that the house is secure if nobody's living in it. Now, this isn't the first time this building has caught on fire. Authorities say another blaze erupted here last April. So as to what happens to this abandoned building next, officials say that's in the hands of criminal investigators. We're in Spring Valley, Sarah Toland, News 12. Well, the cause of that fire remains under investigation tonight.